Is this Jordan 4 really the sneaker of the year? Let's get into the video and let's find out. What's going on YouTube fam? For those of you who don't know, my name is Bobby guys. And on this channel, we do a lot of really cool stuff. One of those things that we do is talk about really hype sneakers like this one that I have right here, guys. And if you're into stuff like that, consider subscribing to the channel and maybe turning on that bell notification so you don't miss another cool sneaker video like this one. Before we get into the video, I have to give a humongous shout out to my girlfriend who was actually the person that hit on these in my size on the sneakers app. And speaking of releases, the actual release of the sneaker was probably one of my favorite things about the whole drop. So when the sneaker actually released on November 23rd for the retail price of 225, the company was actually requiring people to post a video of themselves explaining why voting is important and I believe the reason they did this was to take power away from botters who were trying to do in-store purchases so real enthusiasts and people real people were actually able to make videos and possibly hit and be able to purchase in store and in my opinion it was a genius idea and even though botters were able to cop they did cancel a bunch of orders and did a re-release a few days after so if you didn't get a chance the first time because of the botters Amama Nier decided to do a second drop from all those canceled orders for anybody that didn't get a chance the first time. And believe it or not, this is actually the second pair that I'm able to get in hand. The first pair I picked up when they actually did the drop on their website. I tried to go for my size, but I struck out. But somehow I was able to go back and go for a size 13, uh, which is actually my boy Randy's size. So I was able to sell the sneaker to him and he was real happy uh, to actually get his hand on a pair for a decent price. And we will get into the sizing a little later on in the video. And to tell you guys the truth, I was really impressed with this sneaker when I actually saw it in hand. Uh, when I saw pictures of it, I thought it was pretty cool looking. There was a couple things that I personally didn't like about the sneaker, but now seeing it in hand and actually seeing the quality and uh, just the craftsmanship that went behind the sneaker, I have to give huge, huge props to Mom and Ear. They always seem to just take it one step above from their last drop. And in my personal opinion, uh, besides the threes, this is probably one of the best colorways to have dropped from them. Even though their colorways are all kind of similar in a way, this one is far out enough that it kind of stands out on its own. Just the fact that it's such a darker color than the others, I feel like the other ones have a lot of more white in them and they're a lot more lighter. Um, but this really like dark uh, violet, purple kind of brown color stands out a lot more than all the other colorways that they drop. You really don't understand how incredible this quality is until you actually see the sneakers in person. Compared to a lot of other sneakers in that same price range, and even with other collaborations for that price range, they don't stand anywhere near this kind of quality. And even though I was able to hit the Air Jordan 3s not in my size, I was able to see those sneakers in person and just know for a fact that those threes were probably one of the best threes to ever be made in that in that silhouette and for a lot of people that was sneaker of the year and obviously it makes sense uh with the quality and just the craftsmanship that went behind that sneaker and for a lot of people this seems also to be up there if not be the actual sneaker of the year for them and Apparently to the company I'm on ear, the inspiration for this sneaker is from brown and black leaders that are making a difference in their community. And one of the other main things that I really love about this sneaker is the fact that it's kind of plain and simple. There's not a really a lot to it. And I love the fact that they kept it plain and simple while maintaining that insane, insane quality. And to me, that's more than enough. If they would have done too much with this sneaker, in my personal opinion, I probably wouldn't have loved it as much as I do. Now that we spoke a little bit about the inspiration, let's actually get into some of the materials. So right around the toe, you have this new buck material in this really nice, kind of deep violet ore colorway. And that's actually the name of the sneaker, Violet Ore. For 225 bucks, I feel like you're getting really decent quality leather all throughout the sneaker. Pretty much the entire upper of the sneaker is that same Violet Ore. And it was really cool how they were able to kind of match the colors even though they're different materials. Sometimes when you jump from material to material, the color uh, seems to shade a little bit different or just lay different on that material just because of uh, the, the texture that the material has. But it seems like they were pretty much able to kind of color match pretty, pretty darn good. And it all looks all well put together. None of the pieces look like they don't belong with it. That color's, you know, too far off, that it looks kind of weird. It all blends in pretty well. Even the laces blend in really nice. Which brings me to another topic, which I'm surprised that they didn't add an extra pair of laces. I feel like a, a pair of sail laces would look really nice with these, but you can find pretty much sail laces anywhere off of any other sneaker. 
um, that has them. But I just thought it was interesting. I was surprised that they didn't add any extra laces in there. I would have loved to see it with some sail laces and maybe in the future, uh, I might go ahead and offer some sail laces. If not, I really love how the Violet Ore laces just kind of blends in really, really well. Right above the toe guard and the actual toe itself, you have that classic Air Jordan 4 mesh uh, that you do find also on the outside panel and on the inside panel. Nothing new there. It's pretty much the same uh, kind of concept and build on all Air Jordan 4s. Uh, and right on the front of the tongue, you have the uh, patch with the Air Jordan and Flight. And on the left shoe, you have the Ama Manier logo. And while we're up here speaking about the tongue, another really cool thing that I've noticed that uh, is different from a, a lot of Air Jordan 4s was that they kind of left that exposed leather there, that cut. Um, it's not too sharp and it doesn't uh, have like flakes coming off of it, but it looks like it's like half unfinished. Um, and it kind of goes all throughout the sneaker everywhere that you see the new buck cut. Uh, it looks pretty much the same and it gives it like a nice kind of look to it gives it like a almost unfinished look to it, but it, it somehow works. And just like always on the Amamanir sneakers, you have this quilted sock liner, pretty much on the tongue and on the inside of the sneaker, all throughout the insole. And as well, the insert itself, if you pull it out, has that kind of same look to it. And let's say that you just saw the insert on its own without looking at the sneaker, you would know that this is coming from a sneaker that has a lot of detail and quality to it because the insert itself looks insane. And right here on the actual heel, uh, they have um, a patch and it says, inspired by street culture, fashion, and the greatest athlete in history. And uh, the season is HO 2022 and approved by, it looks like Michael Jordan's signature there. And in my personal opinion, even though this is something that nobody's gonna really see, I thought it was a really nice touch. Now, if we're coming to the outsole, this is one of the areas where I kind of feel like I don't necessarily love it as much as I would have if they just maybe did one other thing, which was these two shades are right here are a bit different. This is like a cream color. This almost looks like uh, an eggshell color white or like a, just like a yellowing white. And in my personal opinion, I feel like I don't know. I feel like it would have looked a lot better if it was all matching. This kind of like just breaks up the shoe a little bit right here in my personal opinion. I'm not saying that I hate it, but I just feel like I personally would have loved it if it kind of just all went flush all throughout the shoe instead of having that different color break right there. But that's just my personal opinion. I, I still think it's an incredible, incredible looking shoe. Uh, it, it was just a tiny little minor detail um, that I personally would have liked to see them do differently. But that's just my opinion. I still still think it's incredible looking and I still think that it all all together looks insane. Now something new that Amamanir decided to do, which I've never seen on an Air Jordan 4 before, was kind of like this button rivet looking thing that they did right here. Um, it has the Amamanir logo on it. And I feel like if they would have went with like a more silvery color, like a more shiny color, it would have kind of thrown the sneaker off. But the fact that they went with this kind of darker button i feel like it doesn't look too out of place i know a lot of people um didn't like the fact that they did that but i think it's a cool cool little um unique thing that they did it kind of makes it you know a little different from a lot of uh air drone and fours and it just makes it kind of its own thing and the fact that it has that on my near logo on it in my personal opinion i think is pretty cool now coming around the back on the heel uh, they decided to go with the Nike Air instead of the Air Jordan logo. Um, and I personally feel like this was a nice touch. It looks really good in that black. And also, if you are looking at them together on the, I want to say, right shoe, it says, it's not about the shoe. And then on the left shoe, it says, it's about where you're going. And it looks like that is Michael Jordan's uh, signature. And I'm, I believe that's one of the phrases or one of his quotes. Now going back to that midsole, I do like the fact that they uh, decided to do this black here that kind of breaks up and separates the colors uh, and it makes it look really nice and contrast. Now when we take a look at the actual bottom of the sneaker and the outsole, you see that uh, most of it is that cream colorway with the Nike Air in that same gray color that you see on the back of the heel. And on the toe and on the heel of the sneaker, you have that violet or colorway. Now if you're considering getting these for yourself or for one of your family members or somebody you know, I would recommend going true to size. If they do have a wider foot or if you have a wider foot, maybe go up half a size, but do go true to size. Even though it does have that different insert 
and it looks like they cut out some of the material from the actual heel and from the actual ankle area it pretty much fits the same as every other air jordan so do go true to size unless you have a white foot you might want to go up half a size uh, because it does get a little bit tight and narrow right here in this area now when you look at the box you automatically know that what you're getting it's something that's high quality something that you know you're gonna get good stuff when you get a nice looking sneaker box like this it's not every shoe that gets a sleeve like this oh my god that just feels so satisfying it's a clear sleeve uh, with the Amma Manier logoing all throughout it and I think it's a really nice touch it just makes the sneaker feel more premium than it already is now putting that to the side and <clears throat> looking at the box itself you have your traditional Air Jordan 4 box uh, with the Air Jumpman on top with the flight in white. You have the Jumpman in black. The box itself is that same violet or colorway. Like every other traditional Air Jordan 4 box, you do have the speckles on here, but the only difference is that it's kind of embroidered into the box and it is kind of like a glossy look to it. Now, when you look inside the box, top comes off like a regular Air Jordan. Another cool thing that they did was they did that same Amma Manier printing on the actual tissue paper itself. And I think that was a really nice touch as well. And on the inside of the box, you kind of have this kind of trippy looking, uh, looks like a shot from Michael Jordan himself with that Mama Nier logo right there. And my girlfriend told me that if you squint when you're looking at it, you can see the image better, which is kind of cool in my opinion. I don't know if she was just messing with me, but I feel like it works. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section if that's true. But all around, from the box, quality and material that they use for the sneaker, the design itself, the colorway, the the drop all together, even though everybody says the Air Jordan 1 was sneaker of the year, I'm going to have to go with these just simply because the way that the, the drop was, the way that the company made it so that it couldn't be botted and it gave people a second chance to go back and enter. I'm gonna have to put this one as sneaker of the year, drop of the year in my personal opinion. Amma Manier always kicks it out the park in terms of drops, in terms of quality, in terms of design, and just simplicity. And overall, I, I like the story behind the sneaker itself. For me, it has more impactful story than the uh, Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. And don't get me wrong, I wish, I wish, I wish I could have hit on the Air Jordan 1. I was not able to get my hands on those sneakers and I just personally don't see myself going and paying a uh, resale for them right now currently maybe down the line in the future I might go ahead pull the trigger and buy them for myself but maybe I'm being biased just because I was able to hit on two pairs of these not just one I was able to get my hands on two of them maybe I'm just being biased even though the Air Jordan one is my favorite silhouette I'm gonna have to put these at the top of the list let me know in the comment section what do you guys think what is your drop of the year what is your favorite sneaker of the year and like i mentioned earlier guys if you're into sneakers and you like videos like this take a second to consider subscribing to the channel make sure you turn on that bell so you don't miss any videos that i'll be dropping in the future huge shout out to my boy jason as well for helping me with the cinematics of this video i'm gonna leave linked in the description his uh tiktok instagram and his uh media page and i want to wish each and every one of you guys Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate, whatever that you do. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get to spend time with your family and your loved ones. And I hope you guys stay blessed and safe out there, guys. And as always, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.